Every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray. All I need are some better day. How are we doing today? Welcome back to the bench. Today we're gonna work on the RC four wheel drive Galande two. I've got some wire loom to kind of clean up the light kit wires that are underneath this thing because it's it doesn't look very good and it's not very organized. And then I've got an XT60 to EC3 or IC3 connector for the battery because I want to try to run everything to underneath the hood of this truck because with the inner fender kit and I'll show you when we get there but with the inner fender kit these body pins are a nightmare to try to get on this truck with those inner fenders and I just don't want to take the body off and on all the time the power switch is underneath the back of the truck here so if I can run my connector to underneath the hood and then I got this little 4002s pack I think I can get to work in there then I can just change the battery under the hood leave the body on turn the power on from the back and be dialed first things first I'm going to take this body off which comes off really nice And you see the inner fender kit uh, that's the light harness but just with this inner fender kit here's the post that those body pins have to connect to and then with the body there's just not a lot of room and so we're gonna try to deal with that I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off let's this open here throw our trash over yonder and we're already in trouble because that's not the right connector but Maybe we can make one. Is this even right? God, this might not even be right. Yeah, they're both wrong. Neither one of these connectors is what I want. This is what I want. Just a mile longer. And honestly, I don't think that would even do it. So... We're gonna bag this back up and potentially do the return. Can't believe I missed that, but whatever. It happens. That's out. Uh, let's move this. And here's the wiring freaking mess. I just had a piece of masking tape in there, which is junk. Loom. So, another thing I would like to do is see if we could get the tray out of this thing. All right. After an unreal amount of digging and turning tiny screws that you can't get access to hardly, I think this top is going to come off. And I have been wrong before. Oh, I lifted a little.
Come on. What are we stuck on here? And there. Holy buckets. Yeah, those were getting me. Right there. Who knew? All right. Set that off to the side. And now this should just lift out of here. And a voila. It's a much cooler looking bed. Now there is four screws for each seat here. Those are the mounting screws. about that this must have hear that this must have broken in a crash at some point because the little tab that this goes on is now gone I've got one on one side well now I don't have any on either side very nice so yeah throw that over there so now, just for clean looks sake, because these won't be actually holding anything on, I'm just going to put these screws in from the top side. And voila! That, in my opinion, is a much cleaner look or scale look than just having this flat tray sitting there. Now, I wouldn't have minded dremeling this out and putting those rear seats back in, but they do kind of just flop around jankily. I'll just, we'll save those for a rainy day, some other project kind of a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get the top back on because that's what I was after and uh, we'll be back. And through the workings of movie magic, we are back together with a much cooler rear interior. Yeah. Now believe it or not we might be ready to uh, try and do what we came here for we already know the battery relocation isn't going to work because I bought the wrong cable and we don't know if this is going to work, let's see what happens. Does anybody have a trick for wire loom? Things go decent once it's started. But starting it can be a major pain. And that's in there. What do you think? I mean, that's a lot cleaner, right? I mean, yeah. That's a lot cleaner. What do we think? 
that's way cleaner. Way cleaner. And there we have it. Through a little bit of movie magic. Or wire loomed there, split to the front, and then wire loomed off the rear until we meet. There, that's a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. So then, hopefully once we get, you probably can't see in there, but that's all I'll have to deal with instead of a mess. Let's put the body on here. And this is pretty straightforward. What I've found is you kind of just, because you have to get these tabs on, I kind of just drop them in the back first and then just rock the body forward. And boom, all of that's on. And then, if you can see, which you can't, let me see if I can shine a light in there. Yeah, that's not doing you any justice. It's a lot less stuff just in the way. And then this pack will just sit. They make, I don't have a 3D printer. They make something that can sit on the firewall there, which would be cool to have. Or maybe somewhere in like so. that and then I won't have to take the body off every time I want to run this thing but we'll see what happens so that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one what uh, I do I will show you here quick is the issue with why it'll, I mean, even if without these fenders, you'd still, it'd still be a lot cooler to reroute the batteries to the front, but uh, if you can see there, it's on the back side of this is where this little pin's got to go. So you've got to use needle nose for one, but then once they're in, you, you got to fold the fender back because you don't stand a chance of lining those things up in there at all. And it's a pain. So if I can just get her done without Having to touch the body pins, that'd be great. So, there she is. That's gonna do it for today's D90. I'm gonna have to get a new cable or make one that's gonna work for that, cause that ain't it. And that'll do it. So, thanks for watching. I know it's kind of all over the place, but uh, you know, I'm not perfect normally. I just get frustrated when I'm working on trucks and trying to film them that I just quit filming them and show you the aftermath. So, hey, we made it this far. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.